There's lots of weaving in this vlog. The first one that's shown is the red, uh, it's like deep reds and pinks and purples um, and autumny colours and that shawl, um, yeah, it's finished and I took a video of it before I started stitching it because something happened to it and it got caught on the back of the pattern weave um, and I chased the bit where it had got caught along the weave and got it back right but I don't want to sell it as a shawl because of that so um, I'm going to use it and make it into a massive cushion so I've hand stitched it all around the edges and um, I'm making a big filler for it to the right size so i have to hand stitch that as well um to get the right size filler to go in it so um yeah i took the video clips of it in the tree uh, before i started stitching it so i'll show in another vlog how it looks when i've finished making it into a cushion another weaving that's in this vlog is the a scarf um that i'd made before and i was packing it up to send um, to its new home and I thought I'd take a video of it because um, I really like the scarf and it had uh, it had jester points on the end of it so it looks a bit jestery with the bells on and things like that um, I'm weaving a shawl at the moment that isn't in this vlog uh, but it will be in the next one and I've put the jester points on the end of the shawl as well because I really like that um, bit of a medieval jester kind of look uh, so that one's in this vlog and also elfin weaving on a loom we went to a little wool festival because uh, I needed to pick up some supplies for work and while I was looking around for supplies elfin was figuring out the four shaft loom that was in the window it's an old dryad loom so um, I took when I came back, I took a video of her working on there and she'd made up a whole pattern sequence herself. And it's really lovely. And luckily she remembers. She's really good, actually, at remembering patterns and sequences and things like that. So she remembers how she did it. And so she's going to try it again at home. Um, so, yeah, there's a, a video of her working on there. She loved that loom. And the other weaving that's in this vlog is a oh it's the sky fields and sky shawl that i finished work on and elfin modeled it for me uh, that's gone to a new home now so i've started work on the next piece which is the one that's got the jester points on it uh, and that one's for exhibition but that'll be in the next one some other things that are in this vlog, there's um, some mirror embroidery uh, that is going to be the project along for patrons on that tier, any tiers that have got project along on the rewards. Um, so this month is project along and that's what we're going to be doing. Um, so there's a clip of that um, in the middle of being done. So I just keep adding mirrors to it and then I'm going to be making that into something. I'm not sure what yet. I've got some ideas, but I'm not completely sure which one I'll do. Uh, there's some work in progress in this vlog as well of some yarn that I've been spinning and it shows the roll lags. They're inspired by um, harbours and little boats and fishing boats in the harbour and some of the colours around the harbour. And Elfin's been washing the alpaca fleece with me. Uh, we've got some spinning to do with that one. It's a grey alpaca fleece. It's beautiful. And we're going to be spinning that and weaving it. We were going to be knitting it at first, but now we're going to be weaving it. And that's for a big project um, that we'll come back to on the vlogs and tell you about. Because um, it's got a story to it. Um, the little lamb, little lavender Edwina, she's doing really, really well. Um, she's very bouncy and loads of fun. Um, feeding more rags become really easy now. She just knows what I've got when I go in the field and she just comes and waits for it. Um, so, but unfortunately the other sheep now know that I'm feeding her every day with sheep nuts because uh, I don't want to give them the sheep nuts at this time of year, uh, but I need to give them to more rag to help her because 
making milk for her lamb so um yeah the it's just keeping the other sheep back really while i get some food to morag but that's going really easily and well apart from that <laughs> um and also we've just gone past the summer solstice like within the past couple of weeks i can't remember exactly where we are right now yeah but it's it was really not for long ago um usually we do things um around the wheel of the year uh, i love doing things with elfin but for the summer solstice we didn't do anything at all because at this time of year it gets so busy working on the land and getting everything done that needs doing um, everything's getting overgrown and needs a lot of work done so we've been really busy with working with things um, that need sorting out uh, yeah there's lots of work to do so we just didn't get time to celebrate the summer solstice this year the sun's just gone down um, the sky was really orange and pink earlier but it's just going a little bit twilight now all different kinds of moths are coming out to play now You can just see Cadet Idris over there in Snowdonia, but I don't think it's, you know, you can't really make it out on the camera. Um, but it's just lit up by the last of the light before it goes dark. So I'm just going to sit out here for a bit and watch the light change until it goes dark. There's loads of bats around tonight and big moths. We call them bob owlers. I don't know if other people call them that or whether it's a regional thing, but there's loads of them around tonight.
this piece I'm working on is for the project Long in July, um, the mirror work. So I'm just adding new ones all the time and then I'll make this into something.
There's more egg having her food tonight. But I stay quite close to her now while she's eating. She's used to me being there. Because she's tamer in winter. She um, comes right up to me in winter and I can stroke her and everything like that. But in summer I just uh, don't really have as much contact with them other than just checking on them every day to make sure they're all safe. Um, I kind of leave them alone really. I just um, check that they're all alright. She's really close to me. Just a couple of footsteps away having her dinner. And the other ones are keeping away quite well. 